Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, where we have roller coasters and we are the tycoon and we have sexy looking space bases, <laughs> though this one is remarkably looking less sexy. Uh, that will get fixed in the future, but for the time being, um, not really gonna focus on that, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I will, I don't know. Um, last time what we did was we built this coaster and I think it has an excellent track design if I may say so myself but and there is a but to this uh, story I think we should add at least another coaster right next to it there is space for it though on this area <laughs> it is kind of well filled up so to say but we can circumvent that by doing a little bit more over here and then just uh, go you know have the high sections on this area and then also have maybe a bit more over here so there's definitely ways to circumvent that but um you know there's also been you the viewer in here let's see what you've been doing um apollo it seems it seems that g rack is all about the apollo it also seems that g rack is about the only guest still in the park, actually. Yeah, Brad Baker has left the park. Uh, and... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we have any other guest in the park anymore. Where did they all go? <laughs> well, they're certainly not here. Yeah, it's only g rack Right, it is time that we uh, get a few new guests in the park then so this new one will be robin shulland and i hope that is pronounced correctly there welcome to the park mate and the other one will be you i don't think you've been in the park yeah you've only been in the park for two minutes you will be the next one you will be dan miller Welcome to the park as well. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, I think it wouldn't be such a bad idea to take a look at a few things. One of which is that I feel we need an extra astronaut over here. Because it seems to me that this queue is particularly long in uh, waiting time terms. Besides, I don't think we've even checked what the ratings are of um, the butterfly. Not bad, not bad. It does take, whoa, 4 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only 12 helicopter cars, huh? Actually, hold on a second, because if I do this by 12, we are getting... 200 seconds and 200 seconds is almost four minutes. I guess we could up this to uh, Maybe 18. I guess that's more or less all right, you know to get an even distribution Still <laughs> the queue time is 10 minutes. That is long. Also the Andromeda This has a four minute queue time, which is a lot a lot a lot better. Uh, let's do a quick vandalism check as well, just in case, you never know, I don't expect uh, it, this to be the case, but you never know, things could have been vandalized, like there is a lot of vomit over there. Now for the rest the park is crisp and clean actually, so I guess this is just bad luck right over here. Um, yeah, we have our emergency uh, handy dude for these kind of situations, so... Good. Well, we don't need to do any pricing check, so we're sorted. Now, one thing that I would like to know is what have our eggheads been up to? We got the hedge maze, or uh, we're gonna get the hedge maze. Uh, we have gotten the Ferris wheel, but that is about it in terms of slam down rides. Though actually. I say that is about it. We also have the observation tower, which we could very legitimately place over here, right in this space base. Did we got any other... No. <laughs> no, on that department it is remarkably scarce <laughs> with the rides. Alright, fine, whatever. Um, I think we should place a few of these, or should we... Because if we do that, this only becomes harder to paint. 
On the other hand, it shouldn't really matter because I can make things transparent. Yeah, I, I don't think it matters all that much. So what we'll do is um, we will just place down them rides. So let's see, what do we want over here? I want at least this one. I think it would be cool if we, well actually, this would be perfect if we place it right along the edge over here, because then we can have the ideal queue size for this to not have angry guests, which would be, the, well, you know, in, uh, in this direction, basically. <laughs> I mean, this would be the ideal queue setup for this, uh, for this ride. So, there we go. Look, and done. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't have wished for anything better. Uh, we'll have forward rotation. I don't mind that all that much. Now, oh, balls. You know, a lot of you have been given really great names uh, for rides. <laughs> and guess what has happened? <laughs> yep. I started playing before actually checking comments and whatnot. <laughs> Derp. So there are great uh, ride names and I do want to incorporate them, but you know, you know stuff happens. So let's come up with uh, something ourselves. You know what? We're going to call this the Black Vortex. Uh, nice, so we did not have that. Ah, we can leave it running uh, too, by the way. So if we're gonna have the black vortex, I want some orange rod... Ooh, orange rods leading into it. And uh, dark grey. How about a... You know what? We could have these be black and then have these be dark red. I like this. I, li I like the looks of that. To be honest, you know, right on the end, like some power wheel ever sl more slowly turning. I like that a lot. Right, now then, um, I think that we are more than overdue for a coaster right next to the one that we've built over here. We still do have the uh, place open here to get into the underground right where we need to be. So, that is what we will utilize here. Also, um, I did forget one thing. <laughs> we need this to be space, of course. Even though it did look really good with the orange uh, coloring over there, I still think we want the, uh, the space style. We need to be consistent and all that, you know? <laughs> all that jibber jabba <laughs> Uh, jibber jabber. Dub dub. <laughs> that reminds me of so some weird leader in some weird could no, well, not weird country, but uh, how should I put it? In a rebellious country. <laughs> uh, that famous speech, man. Jibber jibber job job. <laughs> tycoon tycoon. <laughs> Roller coaster, roller coaster. <laughs> I mean, when you say it like that, it doesn't really impress, now does it? <laughs> I guess I need them crazy sunglasses too, man. Right, okay, so now for our coaster, because this is, of course, the part on where, what it's all about. I think we should just curve it around straight away. So, if we do this, huh? We do a helix down large. Certainly, and that is an acceptable move, it seems. The game says, yes, I allow this. There, alright. And then we can go up steep over here. And then, I guess I want to do the first few things over here. So... To like height 24, it's more or less the same as what we have in the other coaster. Shall we launch this with higher speed? I think that would be actually pretty cool. So, <laughs> this is relatively high. But then again, maybe th this coaster will have uh, the better ratings, huh? I mean, I don't know yet, yet, but... I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to uh, strive for, at least. Uh, Alright, so we are at the park's border over here. Uh, what, what are we gonna do? I kind of want to... Oh, that's bad though. What I kind of want to do... Uh, 
maybe uh, maybe right now we can't really achieve it uh, you know what I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it in the quick and dirty way because it should be able to make it through here and then and then uh, balls well, that was asking too much so ooh, that works out there right I guess in a way we can live with something like this oh that's perfect actually right okay so this is at least a start right now let's wait no <laughs> I don't want the gas to be visible Maybe I also want them supports on, just so that I can see what the F I'm actually uh, blumbling about over here <laughs> with this coaster design. Ooh, now, in such a situation where we are heading straight for uh, the loop over there. Oh, that is bloody brilliant. Look at that. And then do a helix down large. Or perhaps do... Uh, it's only allowed like this, but... Uh, ooh, I know a thing. I know a cool thing over here that we are going to do. And then... Wait, what? How is the roller coaster in the way over here? That's gonna be a neck-breaking piece there, so... <laughs> we, we might not want to attempt that. <laughs> uh, just saying. Uh, it's a shame we kind of have to do this. That works out cool, though. That works out wonders, actually. I like where this is going so far. Uh, it seems that the coaster itself likes it a little less. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, what we kind of want to do is, uh, because we're coming from high 30, all right? So, we know that the, uh, the speed on the track is ridiculously high. So, what I kind of want to do is set up a loop for, you know, to go through this section over here. I think that would be awesome. So, let, let's, let's try and get that sorted. Um, what do we want for that? I guess, you know what, let's just go even lower, like height 8. How cool is this going to be? Well, I know one thing, it is going to be cool. Oh, wow. Um, that is freaking amazing. Can I get away with doing this then? <laughs> oh my good lord. Ah, uh, we can't really get away with it because I do want like a loop around this section. So it's kind of a no go for us really. And this is going to cause issues, which I of course was aware of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he says smugly and cleverly. This, however, will work. So, what we're gonna do right here... Will it work though? No, it won't work. Right, what we're gonna do... We need to plan this out. Let's just pause it here for a quick moment. Where do we want the loop to go through here? Because, honestly, I would prefer it if we'd go around over here. And to get that sorted... Let's just see where we're gonna end. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, that's a quite definitive no on the coaster's end. Also, I don't like it and that we end up over there. So perhaps if we then go, no, that's also definitely not a thing that's gonna happen. But we can do that one earlier. Uh, then it's still not a thing that's gonna happen. To be honest, looking at it like this, I mean, I really like what we what we got going over here. I mean, in all honesty, I don't think it's gonna happen. That is just gonna break next, honestly. <laughs> so that's also a no. 
and then that's gonna lead into our own track. Uh, let's see, what can we do like this? And then we're way too close. Hmm. I think going around the volcano is a good thing, but then trying to get a looping in is a little bit overstretched. So we're gonna let that ID pass, which then begs the question, what else are we gonna do over here? I mean, I really, really want that loop. Uh, let's see, because, well, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, there was no way that was gonna happen. I can tell you that much. So, perhaps... No, 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 no. No, I think we're actually below our own tracks. We do need to go up there. So, what we can do then... Well, you know what we could also do? Uh, I don't re uh, I don't know how we're lining up, roughly. Yeah, that, this is our own coaster track in a way, huh? But, if we were to go like this, how do we line up for the loop right now? That is the big question. If you're asking me, <laughs> it looks exactly what I think it looks like. And you know what? We're actually not going to bank it. How about this? Now, this is bonkers, right? But I believe that we have the perfect opportunity over here to do this very trick once again, but then with our own loop. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Check it out. Now, mind you, we haven't really gone into the underground, and the underground is kind of filled over here. But is it? It's not really filled over here. So how cool would it be if we were to actually go into the underground right below the base? Also, <laughs> I'm not really interested in booster. I want the on-ride brake photo section. So if, if we can now do a helix down large. This would be freaking perfect. Look at that. And then from the helix down large right alongside the space base we were are gonna go right into the underground now we can disable all the obnoxious views though having said that yeah no we definitely otherwise we're never gonna hit rock bottom but that is of course a thing that we need to have done with this coaster so we'll do a helix up large Look, something like this. And then, now, currently we are still in the space base. So, oh, actually, we are on the outside of it. But I don't want to resurface over here. So, we're going to go down. And then, I think right now is the time to get up. Right here on the corner. Yeah, that seems bloody perfect. Look at that, as if it were was made for this stuff. I also don't really know what the speeds on this will be. I guess we do have some leeway for boosters and whatnot. Still, I don't want another loop in this track, and I want to go through over here. The problem is... Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, excuse me, man. That was a very sudden sneeze attack. Anyway, um, yeah... I mean, the, the one thing I don't really know about this coaster is how it's going to retain its speed. I imagine because it's coming from high 30, it will be quite a bit of speed on it. So, also, we do, of course, have the ability to add in boosters if we so need. So, now, here's the thing. Uh, like I was saying, I kind of do want uh, this to have loops which it can pass through. I mean, that much is... A given so the question is where are we gonna pull that shenanigan off I mean where are we headed right now for example we are at height 11 and we have wedged ourselves in a situation of from which we cannot escape yeah same stuff over there right okay so that isn't gonna happen 
Uh, but perhaps if we do like the steep drop, um, we should be able to at least get in there, right? I mean, I can't imagine us not being able. Uh, balls. All right, fine, 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 fine. I also don't think that this uh, it isn't allowing for it. All right, game, you win. Whatever, have it your way. Could we pull this one off? No. At least not like that. Hmm. Uh, I highly doubt that we'll have possibilities over here. But, see, what I kind of want to do is the following. Something like this, but then go through there a little bit more. I don't know, something like this, you know. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. Also, I think for that to work, we actually do want to be at like, uh, I don't know, something like this. And then... Uh, we, we're just having the wrong angle over here, in all honesty. I mean, what we need is this something like this now this could do it cuz oh man this, this is it just it isn't just like it could do it it is freaking gonna do it height 12 seems perfect to pass through said loop or oh, height 14 even Yes, yes, yes. Could we do like a helix down large? <laughs> oh yes, we can. This is brilliant. Now, as for how the next part's gonna be, what I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind trying. I don't know if we have enough room for this, you know. To oh, oops to pull this off but we could we just can't bank it all right that's fine and then we shan't bank it oh look at this though now we're starting to cook with fire i mean obviously i want a little bit more over here excuse me man and that oh, and back all right uh, now, obviously, I want a little bit more track over there. The question is, how are we going to get there? Because I believe, yeah, the underground's fairly filled up over there. Which is actually an issue. No, it's not really an issue. So long as we return into the underground somewhere around here, then everything will be fine. Yeah, everything will be fine. Hmm, this is a rough one, because in all honesty, I wouldn't mind... I mean... We still need a second loop through somewhere. Ideally, that's over here. Could we get? Could we make that? Could we do it? I, mean, I can't imagine us not being able to pull this shenanigan off. Let's just try it. I mean, we are tycoons of the upper echelon. We can do this stuff. Uh, I guess actually, I mean, it doesn't really hurt that much to bank this as it makes it a little bit wider. Now we are perfectly aligned for our looping piece here. So we'll do a sharp drop. Can we? Yeah. We can get away with this. All right, now it's all about lining up at the oh, balls. I I don't know really. Is it possible for us to even pull this one off? If we were to continue this, now we are like at the border of the space base. So, if it is if it ain't going to happen now, then it ain't going to happen period. So, basically, I just need to, because at height 15, I'm also a little bit on the low end for the loop. So, 
and then it still isn't gonna happen. Which at height 17, I mean, it is gonna happen there, but then we run into issues. On the other hand, what we could do, I wonder if this is gonna work. Uh, I think I need it to the left, but I also think uh, the game says, nip, 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 not gonna let it happen. Which is a shame, really. Yeah, no, we're way too close over there. Maybe like this to the left, but no. No, we're way. You know, in all honesty, I really wanted this piece over here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So. Is it, can't it be happening? Hold on a second. Maybe I haven't counted my chickens right. What if we were to uh, do it like this? Um, one straight piece. Go down. And then do the going up part over here. Maybe one straight, you know, for some booster tuning. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I am like right next to, yeah, I can't move it over any further. I'm sorry, Fountain, you've gotta go. That's just the way it is, man. <laughs> you've got to go. Right, I think we actually want this to be a little bit further straight so it doesn't get out that high. Well, that is still our own track in the way. I mean, theoretically speaking, that's not really an issue. No, it shouldn't be an issue. Also, I think I like... Yeah, I like that more, but it ain't gonna happen more. <laughs> Maybe an S-Band uh, could do the trick over here. Uh, and then one a little bit more straight. Yes, yes, yes. And a steep drop just for the heck of it. Oh wow, we're actually running right into the roller coaster. And I can extend this for at least two, I believe. This, ladies and gentlemen, could be our winning piece. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, never say never against the damage the tycoon. Now, now comes the real question. How are we going to get this back to the station? Because I believe strongly that it is going back to the station time for this one. Oh man, how are we going to do that in a nice fashion? In all honesty, I think underground is the only option. It would be really nice to do that right over there but obviously the game says no now that is gonna be a neck breaker I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that the guests aren't gonna like that maybe uh, I don't think I can get away with anything like it <sighs> right maybe just dive into the under no because there's a cube Hold on a second. Maybe we can actually pull that one off. Let me just see what we can do with the helix down small. And then, yep, just like that. Now, please. Yes! 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 <laughs> we actually did it! Now, that's a nice surprise. Alright, well, in this case, huh, I think that we need to go back to the station straight away. No more dilly-dallying around or any any of the sort. Let's just remove the unnecessary tracks. And then start making our way backwards. Also, currently we're over there. We need to be on the other side whilst avoiding this coaster there. So I guess the only real way to do that is to 
not to do that. And also not that. Maybe we should just go up and then... No. I guess we don't really have a choice but to go straight over here. Um, too low. Alright, we can deal with that. Maybe we shouldn't also do that. Now, here's the thing. I kind of want to make this loop around like this, but it's kind of difficult to pull that one off. I mean, this would line it up almost perfectly, but uh, yeah, to say that that is the best choice, uh, far from far from convinced of that, you know? Me is. And, I mean, the lining up over here is just too beautiful to ignore. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, all right, fine. And then, like this. And you know what? We will add in a lift piece over here, just so that it will always make it. And then, to really smooth seal this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a lot of brakes. So, I don't know how fast it will be coming in, but we're going to assume at high speed. Oh wow, actually we don't really need that to go that fast. We'll first lower this with like one per tick, so to say. Look, and then it will still have plenty of speed, I believe. Oh yeah, that is a gentle break if ever I've seen one. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we have quite the coaster on our hands. The question is right now, how fast do we need to launch this? I firmly believe that something like 96 kilometers is in order. This is really, really, really high. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it almost uh, doesn't make it. Wow. <laughs> and then you'll see it's way too intense for its own good. I really like it though that we managed to get through these loops at least twice. Look at that. Perfectly timed. Perfect speed through the loop. Couldn't have done it any better. Uh, the question is, will it make it up the here? No. <laughs> the answer to that question is no. <laughs> uh, didn't I close this? Yeah, I did close it. We should most definitely add a lift piece there. Also, I believe if we lift this then we theoretically speaking this should be possible wow the coasters we have built over here though i mean steel coasters done right if you ask me although admittedly uh, from a track design point of view i like the red one a little bit more i think it has the better track design though this brown one which currently is brown it's not bad it's not that i dislike it it's just that, in terms of track design, I like the red one a bit more. It's a bit more wild, fluent, and weird, you know, and more organic. Whilst the other one is a little bit forced in between and the uh, spaces that are available. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It can just make it just fine. Which is a good intermediary section, you know, to uh, make it through here. If it makes it through there, and then it goes at a snail space to prepare for the loop, which it won't make because of speed issues. It's actually bad, you know, but what we could do, now what we should do, I believe, is add boosters here. And then also add a booster over here. Now this booster is going to carry a lot of weight because it will greatly accelerate the coasting question is now though i mean this is where it all comes down to <laughs> if it doesn't make it over here then we're in, then we're in for an issue because 
Well, I guess we could boost it over here a little, so... Nah, I guess we're not in that much for an issue. <laughs> Excuse me. Still the aftermath of a sneeze attack. Right. I, I really like the way that this is starting to shape up. Question is also now, where on earth are we gonna hook up now? Never mind. Uh, well, actually, do mind. I think we need a queue that goes like this, which we'll actually need to uh, resurface right over here. I think that is pretty much the only clean solution possible. Right, it has reached the point where we were last time, right before we noticed it went too slow. There is a healthy amount of boosters right now, so it should really pick up some speed. Nope. Uh, forget about the picking up a lot of speed part. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that is really, really close. Luckily, though, there are a few more straight pieces over here. Did I place these everywhere at 64? Oh god, I hope not. Oh, these are definitely 93. Alright, that should be enough. So let us worry about doing the path work, because it, it should be able to get um, towards its destination. And of course, you can still inspect the uh, test ride for me. I mean... Oh. Hello there, coaster. You're in the way. I knew this was gonna happen. You're still in the way. Alright. Still in the way? What? No way. <laughs> uh, it's uh, probably because it's a helix down. Uh, that might actually be the case. That's unfortunate, actually, because now that, that means that it's only going to lengthen up oh, yeah, this whole ordeal. Maybe we can get by doing... No, definitely not. Maybe we can get by doing this, though. Definitely. Oh my good lord. <laughs> what have we done? We have created a monstrosity when it comes to cues. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have your average monstrosities and then you have this. <laughs> and this is well beyond. Wow. 103 kilometers, man. <laughs> it is also fast. <laughs> yeah, about this queue, huh? I mean, there is issues with this queue. I am well aware of them. It is far from perfect. Also, what we might want to do with the other queue... I mean, I'm seeing some heavy queue lines over here. What we might want to do is actually uh, shorten up the queues perhaps a little. You know, just saying. And we might want to do that. We don't have to, but we could. Also, I think I want to go to the other side here. Um, oh, there's actually coaster stuff in the way here. That's all right, though. What we can do is this, because I believe... Uh, wow. Okay. Right now, we... Yeah, then that's where our own footpath is in the way. And then there's another roller coaster. What is this? Um, now this is causing an issue. Right. I don't think we should go the other way, you know? <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> uh, I guess this would be the right way to go. Would it now? Ah, it would be the right way to go. If only... There. Nice! It is the right way to go. Oh man, finally we got this... This diabolical puzzle solved, or well, 
I, w I wouldn't exactly call this solved. <laughs> I'd much rather say we have found a solution. <laughs> Not the perfect solution. Now, what we need is a handy dude in the underground area over here. Who's gonna... Wait, hold on a second. Did I accidentally click on fire? I hope I didn't. You are not gonna mow the grass. You are going to have this area to keep clean. I don't know if that covers it all, but just to be sure... All right, well, let's check the ratings then. Ho oh, ho, it is grand. Grand beyond just gr Oh, well, we also made this one grand. <laughs> nice. And, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, that is without the magic synchronize button. How long does do both of them take? Pretty much equal, so... Wow. Ho oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> This is gonna be good. Synchronize with adjacent stations. Yes, this is what we want. Now, we'll open it straight away, but I also do realize that the one thing we most definitely want is an entertainer over here, because if we don't, I'm in the waiting times, man. Oh, poor swords who actually go onto this coaster. I mean, <laughs> they're just in for such a long waiting time. <laughs> Oh, maybe, maybe I am a little bit cruel on the inside. I don't know. <laughs> Not for me to judge, right? Uh, that does cover it. Nice. All right, fine. That, that's taken care of. Well, well, I think that this is going to be an excellent ride. But uh, because I forgot the space name list and I really want this new coaster to have a cool space name, we're going to do the coloring and the naming next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.